this is a weird state. And, uh, and the proof of that is that we have more Simpsons writers from Connecticut wow. than from anywhere else in America. Six of our six of our twenty writers are from Connecticut, and we have two more from Springfield, Mass. Uh, right, that's our idea. That's our idea of geographical diversity. <laughs> So I, I, I'm sure you can tell, I love Connecticut, so you can only imagine how I felt when I heard they were going to uh, do my play in Summers. My reaction, of course, was, where the hell is Summers? <laughs> but this is a Connecticut phenomenon. Uh, this, is, this is a Connecticut phenomenon. I'm sure you've encountered this. We're a tiny state, 167 cities, and yet anytime you meet someone from Connecticut, you go, where are you from? and they'll name some place you never heard of. They'll go, oh, here we are. Well, you'll go, gee, I'm from Summers, where are you from? And they go, oh, I'm from Old New East West. And you go, where's that? He goes, it's Old New East West. It's between Lunch Bucket and Old Spam Blocker. But luckily, the guy from Springfield, Mass, told me, I know where Summers is. He said, Summer, you're going to love it up there. It is a quaint New England town <laughs> near a maximum security prison. <laughs> and he was right. And then I come here tonight. I came tonight, and I said, oh, it's a beautiful town. Is there anything I should see while I'm in town? And they said, go see the burnt-out mill. <laughs> Beautiful, by the way. <laughs> anyway, so I got to say one more thing, which is, so I'm coming to Summers. I said, All right, I got to look this place up. And I, I went to the Chamber of Commerce website for Summers, <laughs> Connecticut, and it says, <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. It said, the most famous person to come from Summers, Connecticut was Stonewall Jackson's horse. <laughs> Crazy. Well, anyway, I, uh, that's all the jokes I've got. So thank you so much for coming to this play I claim to have written. <laughs>